Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to your 17th tutorial on jQuery. And in this tutorial, uh, we are going to start adding some features to the chatbot and I'll also teach you guys how to add a feature uh, by yourself. So uh, you can figure out what else you want to add to the chatbot and what kind of functionality uh, you, you want to uh, append and stuff. So for now the chatbot is asking for our name and we can say my name is jQuery and then it's, it's asking us how we are doing and we can say we are good and what if I want to ask the chatbot how are you and the chatbot won't answer of course because well it just doesn't know what how to react so let's just go ahead and teach the chatbot to answer the question how are you um yep you know, in the last tutorials, we made this nice function uh, called AI, and what this AI function does, it takes message as a parameter, and this message comes from the function click, um, and when every time when the user uh, is sending a message, the message is not only get, uh, gets sent to the display, but also it's uh, it's um, it is being passed to this function AI via this parameter. And now we can access the message from the user input using this parameter. So let's just go ahead and add some new if condition. So, and instead of just saying if message is equals to how are you, it is not the, the best way, we are going to do something else. I'll just cut it. We are going to look for the phrase how are you in the user's input well it, it it might sound complicated but it's not since JavaScript provides us uh, lots of nice functions which do a lot for us and in this case we are going to work with a function called index of and this function index of usually applied to a variable and in our case it's message dot index of um, so um, after index of uh, you need uh, empty uh, brackets and parentheses and in this parentheses you just type the phrase you're looking for in our case is how are you so we're looking for the phrase how are you in the users in the users message and what this index actually does it returns the position of this phrase in the in this big message so if position is positive so if it's not negative that means that this how are you string is um, is really inside of this message so let's just go ahead and say if index of equals to uh, greater uh, equals to zero greater and equals to zero we should run the following code and let's say let's just let's pick the the function send message. Let's call the function send message using this parameter, is saying saying uh, thanks, I am good. So this is something what will what the chatbot will say to us when we ask it how uh, he's doing. All right, let's just go ahead and test. So, what is your name? My name is jQuery. And nice to meet you, jQuery. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I am okay. How are you? Yeah, you know, the chatbot was able to uh, recognize that we ask him how he's doing. And he, he just answered with, thanks, I'm good. And now we can enter something else we can say just good and the chatbot won't answer so this is um, this is the uh, this is just an example of how you add a feature to the chatbot just using this if if condition um, so in this tutorial we will add a couple of new features to the chatbot and they will finish working the chatbot and then you'll be able to create uh, and functions and conditions by yourself. So I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.